Rain Home Healthcare has been providing bronchitis with home care services since 1979. Joining us now to discuss what health literacy is and how you can benefit from it, we welcome program manager at Rain, Jeffrey Lucas, as well as Allison Ortiz, who's here to talk a little bit about case assistance. And uh, thank you both for coming and sharing with us. Thanks for having us. So as we know, Rain has been around for several years, many years. As uh, I've been here for quite a few, I won't tell you how many. But um, throughout the course, we know that providing services to seniors and helping them through. When we talk about actually health literacy, Jeff, I'll let you take it away a little bit about the health literacy program and, and how that's making a difference. Sure, so I mean, health literacy really is a big push for rain currently right now. Um, the Bronx currently is rated 62 out of 62 counties in New York State regarding health, healthy outcomes. So really this program, which is the Geriatric Workforce Enhancement Program, is really targeting that number to really try to get it raised. So when we talk about that, how we, what, what, what's going on? Tell me about, walk me through the program. Right, so what we're doing right now is we're looking for volunteers. Um, we're targeting volunteers who are members of the community in the Bronx um, who really want to work with seniors to improve their healthy outcomes. Uh, so we're targeting five specific health areas right now, which is diabetes, heart failure, asthma, Alzheimer's disease and related dementia, and healthy living. And we found that those are really five key areas that seniors really just need more information about. And so with that volunteer core that they're going to be trained by a geriatric nurse practitioner, um, they're going to work together in order to get training and then go on to the community to educate seniors. And Allison, you do a little work with the case assistance program? Yes. Basically, Rain One Stop is literally a one-stop location where seniors 60 and over um, can come and we provide them with assistance and information in a wide range of uh, benefits and entitlements such as um, Medicare, Medicaid, transportation, home delivered meals, home care, SCREE, and many others. Um, we also provide information and referrals and we basically link seniors to resources such as housing and many other community-based services that they may need. All those services are free. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about seniors coming through the door, obviously a lot of services are needed um, in helping and improving them to their quality of life. Give us a little bit about the whole process in terms of them coming to see you um, and really walking from one step to another. Because as seniors, you know, sometimes we're a little bit challenged with making that connection. You guys are doing a great job in terms of making that connection for them. Thank you. Well, um, basically, we help seniors determine their eligibility for benefits and entitlement. Uh, they, um, they come to our office, we provide services. We have bilingual caseworkers, Spanish, who are available to assist them in completing and navigating the application process from beginning to end. And we basically link them to other community services they may need, whether it be home care, homes that live at meals, transportation, and many others. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about literacy among seniors, obviously, a big challenge because a lot of seniors, as they continue to vacillate through life, just don't know. Um, and so are we finding that more and more people are taking advantage of programs, particularly ge geared towards seniors? Yeah, what we found is that what we did is we conducted focus groups and mm -hmm. we really used those to really engineer the programs for the seniors. Um, we found that seniors, there were things that they really wanted to know more about. Um, and some things that we never thought that they'd want to know more about. Such as? Um, so one of the big things they wanted to know more about was sex education. Um, STDs is one of the, in terms of seniors, is one of the highest rising populations in the United States in general. Um, so most people don't think about that when it comes to seniors, but we found that when we did focus groups, that was one of the things that they were interested in. Um, added to that, they wanted to know more information really regarding Alzheimer's disease and related dementia, where to go, focus groups, support groups, things like that. Um, so those focus groups really helped us to engineer programs that really were targeted toward the needs of seniors. Mm -hmm. And so as we look towards the future, obviously some plans are on the horizon for some things happening in the future. Allison, share a little bit about what's coming up in the, uh, around the corner. Well, basically we're linking to GWEB program and through the um, GWEB program, we link seniors to services they need. Um, there are a lot of services and benefits out there that unfortunately seniors are not aware that they're entitled to. SCREE, the Senior Citizens Rent in Increase Exemption Program is one of them that a lot of seniors are not even aware that SCREE exists, which is also known as the Rent Freeze Program, which freezes the rent for seniors 62 and over who live on rent stabilized apartments. And if their household income is 50,000 or less, they may qualify to freeze their rent for future increases. So there's a lot of services out there and we try to reach out to the community. Rain's um, 
um, wide range of services is basically to encourage healthy aging and to avoid hospitalization in the future for these seniors and keep them living at home independently and involved in their communities. It's a wonderful thing because so many times we talk about here on the show about budgets and cuts and things like that. We always find that sometimes seniors and the cuts to the elderly seem to be one of the first things that go on the chopping block. But mm -hmm. you do find that there's a great need for services for, 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 for seniors. What are the things that, you're, that, that we're hearing in terms of meeting their needs and taking care of them that maybe the public isn't so aware about? I think one of the big things is really care coordination. Um, unfortunately, there's a disconnect between the clinical setting and the community setting when it comes to working with seniors in general. Um, sometimes they go into the hospital and they don't know what services are available for them in the community. Uh, so range really big push is really coordinating a lot of services between the clinical setting and the community setting so we make sure that seniors aren't left out in the cold. So for people who want more information about RAIN, we've got the information on the bottom of the screen, but also tell them how they can get in touch. All right. So if they're interested in volunteering for the program, because we're still recruiting volunteers, they can contact the number 347-202-8805, um, and they can talk to me, and I can tell them more about the program. Is there a deadline? Uh, there is currently a deadline, which is near the end of September. Okay. And if anyone who needs assistance, 60 or over, um, they can reach us at 718-239-4358. And we thank you both for coming and sharing with us. And uh, hopefully, Jeffrey, we'll get some volunteers out there. And uh, Allison, keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank All you for right. having us. Thank All you. right. Listen, we want you to stay with us, but don't go anywhere. We still got some more show coming up. So we'll be right back with more open right after this.